back, everybody, to... Oh, hang on. <laughs> no, no, it's perfect. This is, we'll mind. go back to... Oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> no, Jacob forgot his intro pieces. Yeah, no, 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 that was the intro piece. No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's a good intro piece. Welcome... Hey, everybody, welcome back... Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll I'll leave. You, <laughs> you know, you don't have to. I no, 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 no. Well, because I'll have to censor it because it's like an E-rated game, but it, it's yeah, it, it got a better reaction than probably. Yeah. <laughs> so where we last left off, we finished up in rock bottom. Finally, where I've been sitting for the past two years of my life. I, 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 I think it's funny that they brought back the VA for Barnacle Boy, but not for Mermaid Man. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess uh, Borgnine had better things to do, but uh, Tim Conway did not. I just love, like, he just is, like, this is, like, animation. Like, his mouth just, like, it's a flap. It's like, <laughs> like, I'm talking, this flap is moving, and my, my, like, you can just see the animator's, like, motions. Like, just move your head a couple, like, you know, just, like. Just look at this character no. model here, like, <laughs> No, pardon me, I'm not as brushed up on my SpongeBob lore. But have we seen Adam West play a Spongebob character yet? I mean, he won't play any anymore, but... No, but, um... <laughs> I think he was in one episode. He maybe was. I don't remember. I feel like he was, though. Because Adam West just sort of did a little bit of everything. My favorite was Catman, and it will always be Catman. <laughs> That was a great one. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to the <laughs> Alright. Retirement home girls gone wild. Yeah. I mean, I old, see that. old dudes gotta get, their, gotta get themselves going somehow, you know? Yeah, really. They gotta do it. Wait, did you just change the oh. channel by chopping the TV? You just gotta smack it. Time. Get it. Go! <laughs> Look at the weird way he entered so, the normal air. Adam West was oh, young Mermaid Man. Oh god, that's oh, yeah. horrifying! Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Was yeah, he? Yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. Okay. Which is very fitting. And then Burt Ward was a young Barnacle Boy. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's pretty good, I like that. I remember like, they said, I'm like, oh yeah! That's which, anyway. which, in a way, is actually kind of funny because they got two actors who were relatively the same age as the originals to play young <laughs> Yes. Original. All right, don't get exploded. I have a feeling that was very on purpose. Oh well, I mean, what Wait. can you say? A lot of the best. How'd they get? Down <laughs> how did they get down here? Mermaid says no. How? How? How'd they get down here? Rob, they're superheroes. They were already up top. Stop asking logical you questions. You went down first. He stayed on the couch. And now he's here. I how? See the problem. Can he teleport? Can Maybe you tell he me can. that? Maybe. Do you know the full uh, set of Mermaid Man's powers? Hold on, they have a box. Oh. You know how it is. The, the, the couch is actually the box. The couch is the box! <laughs> Whenever your remote gets lost in the seat cushions... <laughs> it's actually just a black hole that teleports somewhere else. No, black holes couch. don't teleport things, Nick! Do you know that? Yeah. How do you know? Because I study physics! No one knows where a black hole ends up. Black holes are just massive gravity wells where once matter and light go in, they just stay there. But do you know that for sure? I mean, it's a theory. Trust me, Rob, I know. Alright, we're not gonna talk about this theory, Junk. It's up to you, dude. Not gonna talk you about this. Up. Stop them! That's gonna be on it. That's gonna be an episode. We're Don't you worry. Oh, man. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. <laughs> Wait, how many doctors do you need to see? They're old. A lot. Do you, the general physician, you need a cardiologist, a dem demiologist. <laughs> You need an orthopedist, you need all that fun stuff. The dentist appointment, gotta keep the dentist up, you know. I hope you got good superhero insurance. No, I kinda like how they just shove it all in one day, you know, like, you know what, we got all these doctors we need to go see, just, we'll stay for like one day. It's like doing a tune-up on your car. <laughs> just get it all your done car is your body. These, the, I mean, you know that they're old heroes because their security system is a disco floor. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't, okay, well, you, you know, know, that was just on cool. Yeah, I thoroughly believe that Mermaid Man was a disco king back in his day. You, you know, think so? You think he really... He was out on that floor. He was just, mm, mm. He was getting at it. He, was, he got the disco going on. Hey, let's not you forget the bat to see. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Is this Clint Eastwood's new movie? <laughs> um, I'd say it's on the same level. Um... <laughs> Have you seen the trailers for the last one, that like drug mule, mule The movie? mule, yeah. Every time that trailer comes up to the theater, I just turn to whoever is with me in the theater and I just go, There, I made another movie. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, 
Oh, Clint Eastwood. Maybe one day you'll, uh, I don't know, do something. What was that one movie that I really liked? Um, oh, uh, was it a Clint Eastwood movie? I think so. It could I mean, be wrong. I mean, there's was, Dirty um, Harry, any number no. of the Dirty Harry movies. No, it was a Dirty Good, Harry. Good, Bad, and the Ugly. No. Good, Bad, and the Ugly. There's it was Gran new. Torino. It was new Gran Torino, that was okay. it. I liked Gran Torino. He also did that, like, uh, boxing movie, didn't he? That like whoa physics Bye. wow you know I'm okay with that physics I'm okay with it too even though it didn't go anywhere near where I wanted it to go <laughs> it's fine don't worry about it da, 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 the ball da, da, da. knows where to go believe in the ball but what about Gran Torino I liked it okay good point all right I conversation over one. conversation <laughs> over <laughs> I like how uh, Clint Eastwood played the stereotypical old racist dude who ended up being not old well still old but not racist and suddenly he wasn't racist. Anymore. Why is the Mermelayer intro screen now? What the heck? We've already been through the first room and now they're well, saying hey, the uh, That was the lab. The intro. And this is the laboratory. The oh, yeah. This is my lab! Stop. This is my laboratory! Stop. Stop. what are you doing in my laboratory? I, I can't do a Dexter laboratory. Right? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know that, sh that uh, show nearly hey, well enough to do it. If one of you can pull off a Dexter impression, I will be Mandark. Ha 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 ha! No 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 no! You gotta you gotta make sure you gotta make sure there's a lot there's more in the ha. It's like ha 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 ha! Okay okay okay. okay. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. Did you just tap me? Ha ha! I am Mandark Dexter. I will take over your lab. Please stop touching me. He <laughs> gave Nick Nuggie. <laughs> wow. Yes. Hello. Welcome to middle school. Here, in Jacob's Giving Weekend. <laughs> Listen, we are now 12. Well, speaking of which, I think it's about 12? time to finish this up. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say, that was, that was quick. Because I thought, I looked at the clock that said 12 minutes, and then I was like, oh, yeah. wait. well, it's almost about time. Then I went, oh, wait, but like the first three minutes was me eating a pizza. <laughs> I, Not, um, like, actually recording hey, anything. It was, so was it's like, good pizza, I so. worked the other day. It was, like, 8.35. <laughs> good job. You did it. What? 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 I refer to my previous comments about how this game is a mess. And, okay. Nah. By mess, he actually means masterpiece. Oh, yes. Oh, it is the best. The best of all time. Except for when Rob plays it. Then it's a mess. Listen, I'm good at some video games. Just not these ones. Not the ones for the kitties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at kids' games. Listen, I was playing like RTS games when I was like eight years old, okay? Ray, I don't want to hear it. No, it's rated E for everyone, except for Rob. Well, <laughs> see, because well. Rob's not really everyone, now, is he? <laughs> no. Rob should be no one. I'm. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that, 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 that was darker than I meant. That, that uh, mm. went real dark. Listen, real I fast. actually <laughs> take that as a compliment. <laughs> I am fine with being able to change my face. Are you the many face god? I'm. The, I'm okay, not the many no. face god. The many oh. face god has many faces. I'm but a vessel. A man has no name. A man has no name, but you may call me Rob. <laughs> he has no mouth, but yet he must scream. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's we're getting weirdly philosophical. I was really just referencing a uh, video game title, but you know we can make it philosophical. You know, so let's make it philosophical. I like that. I, like I don't that think you can pick up underwear by bowling it. Don't nope. tell physics what to do. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. It's exactly how it works. No, okay, I don't uh, think so. What is with the inverted? Okay, so something yeah. I'm just noticing here now is that the camera is inverted. Yeah. Yeah. So you like want the idea would be okay. The camera will go up when I hit the up stick. Yes. It goes down. No. I mean, can you change in the controls? I'm not sure, and I really don't want to waste the time in this episode by trying. Alright, that's fair enough. Fair uh, so. We'll do in between, don't worry. Could I just hit this thing? <laughs> no, I know people who <laughs> like invert, like there inverted controls. I don't. I do not. not the yet. left wall jump was activated. It depends on the game, honestly. Like, if I'm playing Spyro, I don't want it to be inverted, but in some things, I'm fine with it being inverted. I think, yeah, I agree with you. It's about what. Oh man, it's time for Nick! Where does that take me? Well, I don't know. I think we can only uh, find out. Yep, okay. test it. Time to test. Time to experiment. Experimentation is going to remember the controls. Now remember. This year, this uses the principle of leverage. That's not how what? that works. That's not how that's supposed to work. Oh no! 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> I remember this section! Oh no. <laughs> oh god no. This haunted me as a child. It is pretty obnoxious. You can see Squidward's house from up. No you can't. No you can't and you're underground. You are in a subterranean lair! Listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you okay. throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. All right. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. And now becomes the great moment when everyone gets to see Nick do a great Nick job. He's gonna do great. Do a puzzle game. <laughs> he, no, he's gonna do fine. I believe in him. I, um, you should too. I won't be Patrick anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, top luck. Oh, all right, God. Um, Let's talk about philosophy while he figures this out. Uh, so, one of my favorite philosophical concepts is that of a thesis' ship. Well, now, describe that uh, philosophical concept for those who do not know what that is. So, thesis' is ship, it's a thought experiment that plays around with the idea that Theseus, Greek hero, big boy... <laughs> he big, has big, big boy. He has a ship, and during his uh, his journey, different parts of his ship wear down, break this and that, and so they replace it with all new pieces. You're a big fan of this theory. You told me this one yes. before. And so, over the course of the voyage, they replace every single part of the ship with the with a new piece. So by the time they get to port, is it still the same ship? Hmm. Is it the same ship, or is it just an exact copy with all replica parts? Now, see, that's an interesting philosophical concept, because it it asks more a question of manufacturing, and sort of is, you can build something out of something, but if you, like, try to replace it, or... He got it. I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! you! I said nothing about it. I was talking about... Boom. Yeah, we're talking about Rob's the ship. ship. Nick wins! For now. He Whoa. surrounds himself with intellectuals, and he does good. And it makes me feel superior, because I am smarter We, need, we just need to start talking about smart concepts, and so Nick can that. actually accomplish things. Look at- look, by us talking about smart concepts, it makes Nick smarter by osmosis. Yeah, he learns by osmosis. No, oh, well. Prove me wrong, Rob. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I can't prove you wrong. What we need is more testing. I, I can definitely prove you wrong because I'm smart. Debatable. Smarter than you. Wrong. No, that is very debatable. Uh, it is not. It's a fact. Uh. <laughs> Shut up, Rob. And now let you uh, you wanted more testing. Let's go with uh, well, test number two. That's can one, you learn the pattern? That's one Rob and one Nick. Uh, I think that's two Nick. One no, Rob. I don't think oh. so. Huh? 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 Ah! Also, no! what's with this crash oh. music going on? Wait, dude. Oh, well, because it's the Mermelayer, so they gotta do like this sort of 60s influenced uh, Batman thing. Which is what Crash had in some places, I guess. I mean, I really love that, like, whole theming of it. This is really crazy. Come on, Nick, you can do it. I got so, this. So, what's your, what's your ideas on uh, Theseus' ship, Jacob? Right. There well, we I, I like I or like I was trying to say, I find it fascinating because it, it actually brings up the question of is it worth it to um, try to repair things that are broken? Because then, are you really keeping the integrity of the original vision, or are you just replacing it with the um, cold grip of modernity? You know, the way the way I see it is that it is more of a matter of perspective. Pick up, pick up the lemon. That's not a lemon! Shut up, bro! That is very much uh, not a yeah. lemon, Nick! He needs literally to swap the first <laughs> and third letter, and he will have it. <laughs> but the thing about Theseus' ship is that... when well, a, is it, a, a, it depends on how you look at it in terms of, oh. like... <laughs> In terms of, do you care about keeping the integrity? Why should you care about keeping the integrity? If you're looking at your basic machine, and you just have, like, a part of a machine that breaks down, all that fun stuff, if you replace the part, I mean, it's still the same machine, it's still accomplishing the same function, but it tends to be put more towards concepts as in, how does this apply to the human body? 
How does this apply to people, to consciousness in general? Are we going to look at consciousness as just some hodgepodge of concepts that all work together physically? Or is there something more almost metaphysical to it? Well, in that sense, are you discussing the consciousness and the, the concept of the soul or in the concept of just the chemical that the brain produces? Well, that's the thing. It, there, it all depends on your personal belief system. If you want to believe in the concept of a soul, then very much Theseus's ship is something that really is a bit of a mind boggler. But if you are someone who fully is like completely practical minded, everything is just a sum of its parts or uh, some of the interactions that happen within the body, then it's very realistic to say that, hey, Theseus' ship uh, is irrelevant. There, it's still going to function the same way, even if it's not the exact same original materials. Hmm. So, and it's one of the things I to play you. with uh, whenever, we br whenever you bring up the concept of quantum teleportation. Mm, now, I haven't brought up the concept of quantum teleportation. This must be... Uh, Leftover concept from a different program. So, I'm a oh no, I, I, I just like uh, I like talking about quantum teleportation a lot because oh, yeah. I think it's a really fascinating concept. Something, uh, but something that doesn't really work the way a lot of people might want it to work. Because there are two ways where realistically, with our current level of technology and understanding of the universe, that quantum teleportation could work. One of those means, by the way, nice spatula. Good job. Thank you. Good spatula. I Good did on. it. <laughs> with uh, quantum teleportation, one of the ways is like, hey, you have a body, you take that body or being or whatever, you completely disassemble it into its core components. I mean, it's all complicated because it's all stuff that um, we don't state really have the technology for at this moment. A massive object as in a human body, you are that is just so simple that you can just no destroy it the exact way and you can open your eyes on the other end, your own memories, like your own perceptptions and a lot walk talk, create, an, ex like you. create a copy of myself and at the exact the moment that copy is complete, there's a philosophical I would die. argument that every when time you go to sleep it counts as a breaking consciousness so essentially it's a very hopeful outlook on things. By the way, this episode's running a bit long. Yeah, we're at 27 minutes on the recording. You know, we may pick up this uh, this uh, concept later on. Probably not. I think the next episode will probably be more jokes. Probably. Honestly, we're very bad at keeping on topic. But either way, I think this is a good place to stop, don't you? I think that uh, I'm hitting the... Oh, there. <laughs> well, we already hit one of them. Press the buttons! Got it! Wait. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Uh oh. Return here! Got it! Are press. you listening to me? Listen! She has a very sensual voice for a kid's game. What do you mean? Shh. It, it seems it's very sensual. It's a computer. Maybe I'm into computers. Have you thought of that? Well, well I kind of thought computer. you already were. Wow, you bigot! Love is love. Love is love. Have you seen her? No, I haven't. All right, really? But that was a goodie. Yeah, it was good I one. heard it was a good one. Was I was nice. interested. Anyway, I think you would enjoy it if you were into that kind of thing. <sighs> That's another neat concept I would like to touch on uh, at a later point. Just well, the idea of falling in love with AI. Well, you know, we'll see what happens next time on Jacob's Gaming Weekend. But until such time, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the philosophical concepts we were laying down. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell to be notified about when new videos come out. Smash the like button and share the video with your friends. On the screen you'll see more episodes of the Gaming Weekend and more episodes of Serenade of Caffeine. We'll see you all next week. Bye bye! You should come watch us. No.